We line our garbage cans with bags before throwing away the trash, and workers at Hanford are kind of doing the same thing today. But it's on a little bit bigger mm -hmm. scale. Cap Cavey's Josh Peterson joined us now to show us what the workers are doing and what this expansion project means to the community at large. Hi, Josh. Well, good evening, Kevin and Christy. Hanford's Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility, or ERDF, will be able to hold more than 5 million extra tons of waste once crews finish preparing the site. And thanks to millions of dollars in stimulus money, the work is moving fast and jobs are being created. These massive 500-foot-long white liners that are going down at Hanford's waste disposal site will soon be covered in millions of tons of hazardous waste. Right now we're building two cells, cells 9 and 10. Uh, each one will hold 2.8 million tons of waste. The expansion project is expected to increase the site's overall size by 50 percent. And to make sure all that waste stays put and doesn't seep deep into the ground, workers are laying down seven feet worth of protection in between the waste and the earth. That includes three feet of dust and clay, several layers of liners like these, some rocks, and on top of that, three feet of soil. We call that the operations layer, and it protects the whole uh, liner system as we place uh, waste into the landfill. And thanks to $100 million in Recovery Act funding, the work is moving much faster than expected. Crews are about four months ahead of schedule and about 100 full-time jobs have been created. The Recovery Act funding has expanded its operational capability. It's going to extend its life cycle. Um, and also makes the operation more efficient. And more local businesses are benefiting as well. About 20 companies from the region are working on the project to make sure you stay safe from the waste. We're bringing people, local companies in, small businesses, working with them on how do you do work at a DOE facility and um, really, I think, uh, putting a lot of people to work in the Tri-Cities. Now the first new cell that's being created is, is, is expected to be completed in March 2011. The second one is expected to be finished in September 2011. Kevin Christie. All right, thanks for that, Josh, and we will be right back after the break.